Hi, I'm your Everyday Joe. Today, I'm gonna to be making an easy recipe using my all-in-one Ninja Foodie. We're gonna be making a air-fried zucchini fritter. Stay tuned. If you wanna show support to this channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. And to stay up to date on new content, when we release it, ring the notification bell. Now let's get into the video. The ingredients we're gonna need for the zucchini fritter is one medium-sized zucchini, shredded, a half a cup of flour, half a cup of breadcrumbs, two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese, one half cup shredded cheddar, one medium-sized egg, one tablespoon of garlic minced, two tablespoons of green onion, salt and pepper to taste, and a half teaspoon of Italian seasoning. All right, so what I've done already is I've taken the zucchini and shredded it on the box shredder using the large holes. Uh, just regular shred, you know, doesn't have to go too too crazy. Uh, and it, you know the back end here, I usually just toss out. So, so we have this nice shred here. We just gotta clean that out. Here, let's get rid of that. Okay, so next we're gonna get some flour in here. There's about uh, it's about a half cup to a cup. We're gonna add half of it and see where we have for moisture. Okay, and I'm going to use a fork to kind of get everything incorporated here because we're going to be adding an egg too, so we're going to be adding more moisture to this. I just want to make sure that the zucchini is kind of dry to begin with. Okay, and while we're doing that, I'm going to get the, the foodie on sear because we, we're going to sear the bottom first. So select sear on high, start, let that heat up. It's already kind of preheated anyway. I started a little earlier. So that looks like it's pretty good. So now we're going to add cheese. It's about a half cup of uh, shredded cheese. Get that all mixed in. Now, yes, my hands are clean. I've already washed my hands beforehand. All right. Get the egg in there. Okay. Put that in there. Okay, get all that incorporated. Because now we also have some breadcrumbs to kind of soak up the egg. So it's, you can feel it's, it's getting pretty, pretty thick. Okay, so these are just some seasoned breadcrumbs. I added a little bit of shredded cheese to it. Okay. Just want to fold it in, just kind of get it all soaked up. So when we get it into the hot pot, it's going to, uh, the cheese is going to stop melting. It's going to give it a nice uh, crust on the bottom. Okay, so now we're going to add some minced garlic and some green onions, a little bit of dry Italian seasoning, okay, and a little bit of salt, not too much because the cheese does bring in a little bit of salt. Okay, and I'm using the pink, pink Himalayan salt is the one I prefer. All right, got my hands nice and washed. Let's get a little bit of black pepper in there. And of course, salt and peppers to taste. Uh, whatever you want. I, I like to hold back a little bit on the salt. You can always add it later uh, in the in your plate. So let's uh, get it all mixed in. So feels like that's getting pretty warm. I'm gonna use some olive oil, maybe a tablespoon, couple of tablespoons, because I want a nice, nice crust on that on that bottom there. So I wanna I want to start waiting until it uh, starts to smoke up a little bit. Okay, it looks like it's, uh, you can see that it's starting to sizzle here. So we're going to get this in here. Okay, use a spatula here just to kind of scrape it all up. Get it in here. And I'm just going to press it down into a kind of a thin layer. Okay, just to kind of spread it out so we have a nice 
nice bottom layer. We get get a nice crust on that as it uh, as it toasts. And you'll know when it's when it's uh, toasting up nicely is because you'll see the edges start browning a little bit. So we're gonna and I'll let that go here, and it is on high. I'll bring you back when we're ready to do the next step. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, this is coming up nicely here. It's uh, toasting up really nice at the bottom. Okay, it's got a nice, I don't know if you could see that in the top camera. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, uh, the bottom is starting to toast up a little bit. I don't know, you get that nice brown color at the bottom. So we're gonna stop the searing because we, we've got to get the, the top nice and toasted. We're gonna use the air crisp top or the air frying uh, so we can toast up the top. So the bottom is nice and crispy right now. We'll get the top closed, turn the power on, air crisp. 400 degrees and we'll start with about 10 minutes. I think 10 minutes should be fine and We're gonna let this go when this is done nice and toasted. I'll bring you back We'll plate it up and give it a taste. Okay, so we're down to about a minute 45 seconds You can take a look. It's nice and toasted at the top. You can see that from the top view What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more cheese to the top just to get it nice and cheesy. Okay. Okay. So probably another half cup of cheese. Get that on there. Give it 45 seconds, just enough to melt that cheese. Okay, so this just finished, and you can see the cheese melted nicely. Now the trick is getting it out of here. Now what I've been doing in between is I've been trying to scrape the edges with uh, with a little spatula, try to get it loose in case it's stuck. So let's see how I did here. Okay, so I'm going to use a nice flat spatula here, and we're going to just get it right on there. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. And you can take a look here. You can see it at the top. Look at the bottom, nice and toasted. Nice and toasted. So. It's a nice zucchini fritter, frittata, hash, whichever way you want to call it. It's all the same thing to me. So let's, uh, let's cut into this and give it a taste. Now I can feel that it's pretty crunchy at the bottom. So I'm just going to cut a little slice here. And you can put you know, some, uh, uh, some ranch dressing over the top or nothing at all or whatever you like. So here you go. You got a nice little slice. It's still smoking here, so it's pretty hot. So we're going to give it a little taste. Hmm. Oh, real good. Real good. You know, you can flavor anything you want. Sour cream probably work really good on this too. So, you know, this is this is really, really good. If you give this a shot, go ahead, uh, let me know in the comments section. Uh, give me some, some likes, some comments. Again, uh, we appreciate the support we get from you guys here. Uh, check out the videos that YouTube puts up on the side here. Any links, I'll leave down in the bottom in case you're interested in any uh, accessories or getting yourself a foodie. And now uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.